Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Litter Media Live. I'm your host, Mike Smith. Dan Ramey is on assignment. We'll be talking here in just a little bit about where Dan is today. In fact, I'll be uh, joining him after this uh, program today as um, the uh, Pineapple Awards presentation being made by the uh, Ross Chillicothe Convention and Visitors Bureau. We'll tell you more about that coming up in just a moment. But first of all, let's talk about our weather for today. This is the forecast uh, that we're talking about. Uh, we've had some rain here over the last, oh golly, a couple of days. A uh, real good shower. I think we probably had about an inch of rain in Frankfurt uh, in just uh, a few hours the other day. But um, some showers early this morning. We think we're in a little bit of a window of a break for rain and then a possible shower popping up this afternoon and in, in evening. And they said that there is a slight, a slight possibility of some um, thunderstorms, maybe even um, an isolated severe thunderstorm uh, this afternoon. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that. The rain's okay. Just keep the severe stuff away, if at all possible. When we come back, a busy day today to get caught up on what happened over the weekend and what's coming up here today. All ahead on this edition, Monday edition, May 8th, for Litter Media Live. Hi, I'm Dave Pinkerton with Advanced Services Heating and Cooling, your local heating and cooling expert. If you want quality service, quality installation, give Advanced Services a call, 740-773-4499. Archway of Opportunities is a scholarship program. It can include the crew members and it can include managers. The scholarship is $2,500 for crew members and it's $3,000 for um, managers. For my store alone, we've had $35,000 go out just in one year. And for all seven of our stores, we had $66,000 in scholarship funds. And don't forget the McDonald's locations, four in Chillicothe, also one in Circleville, Greenfield and Waverly. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Let's jump into our topics. Ohio Military Hall of Fame, uh, the 24th annual induction ceremony for the Hall of Fame took place over the weekend. Uh, that was up in Columbus for the uh, Valor class of 2023. Actually, it was held on Friday, which for some people is the beginning of the weekend. Uh, in our area, six servicemen with local ties were among the 27 honorees. That included... Uh, Richard Enderlin of, Circle, of, of Chillicothe, I'm sorry, from the Civil War. William Hess of Athens from World War II. Fayette County natives James Ducey of World War I and John Roble of World War I. Also brothers Earl Williams, who served in Vietnam, and Wayne Williams uh, out of Waverly. Uh, they were uh, World War II, or he was a World War II vet. Chillicothe's Medley Lipsinski Hatfield uh, represented Enderlin, who received the Medal of Honor for his actions at the Battle of Gettysburg during the Civil War. So a big honor for all of those. Also over the weekend, Nathaniel Willis. We were telling you about this story uh, last week. He was one of the Boston Tea Party participants who later came to live in our neck of the woods of Ohio. Well, over the weekend, uh, the Bainbridge Cemetery... There was a ceremony there where people gathered to decorate the grave of uh, Nathaniel Willis, where he's buried, right here in Ross County at the Bainbridge Cemetery. Now, the National DAR is doing this. They're going uh, around the country 
and decorating the graves of those who participated in the Boston Tea Party. Of course, this is the 250th anniversary of the Revolutionary War and what led up to the start of that war. Our Dan Ramey was master of ceremonies for the annual Kentucky Derby Party Saturday night. Hope Clinic of Ross County, a nonprofit faith-based medical clinic providing medical and dental care to those with uh, no insurance at no charge to the patient. Director Jamie Easterday reported for every dollar raised, Hope Clinic puts six times as much back into the community. The services performed last year was $1.2 million. The group honored the services of founder Dr. David Smith and his wife Camille for their years of voluntary service to the Hope Clinic. One of the fundraiser's longtime organizers and volunteers, Deb Turvey, was also remembered. Turvey, who passed away last summer, had a passion for the Derby hats that were worn by guests. Committee named its hat contest after her. And, of course, they cheered on the horses during the race, won by Mage. Or is that Madge? I'm not sure. I didn't watch the Derby. Hope Clinic of Ross County currently operates Mondays from 5 to 7 p.m. at 610 Central Center in Chillicothe. Big doings of Zane Trace FFA for many years. They have been one of the uh, more successful FFA chapters in our area. They received recognition at the 95th Ohio FFA Convention uh, for proficiency awards, agri-science fair projects, state degrees, and ochre books. The chapter was represented with their gold-rated chapter award. Congratulations to them. And also, in relation to that, their meat inspection team was in a recent competition where they placed eighth and that was at the Ohio State University. Down in Pike County, 4-H'ers getting ready for uh, the fair, of course, which is just, uh, golly, for them, a couple of months away. They had their animal tag in and ID over the weekend. Unofficially, they identified 198 market hogs and 137 market goats. Now, there were other livestock tagged, but those were the two top Uh, livestock uh, species that were tagged for the upcoming Pike County Fair, which is about 85 days away. Staying in Pike County, the uh, Wings and Strings will be held this coming Friday and Saturday on Main Street in Piketon. This uh, free two-day event features a lineup of music, food, and craft vendors. Now, we told you that Dan Ramey is on assignment today, and he's on his way out to the Christopher Conference Center for the annual uh, Ross uh, Chillicothe Convention and Visitors Bureau Pineapple Award Ceremonies. That is given out to uh, local businesses who are doing what they can in a stellar way to make our community more inviting for visitors, for travel, and tourism. So those awards are being given out today. Uh, I'll be going out and shooting some video on that. Dan is serving as the master of ceremonies for that uh, gets underway at noon today. And later this afternoon, we'll have a story up on littermedia.com with all of the winners. A reminder that the basic CPR class at Pickaway Ross uh, Career uh, Education Center for Adult Ed, that is coming up on May the 20th from 1 to 5 p.m. If you're watching this live or if you're watching it uh, on a rerun, just hold your uh, smartphone over that scan me, that uh, QR code there, and it'll give you all the information you need as to what is coming up. In our daily road report today, uh, letting you know that in Ross County, work is set to begin today for a resurfacing project on State Route 41 between Lapper Railroad and US 50, as well as on Route 50 between the Village of Bainbridge and Lower Twin Road. Now, work will occur daily between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Monday through Fridays. During construction, traffic will be maintained in one lane using flaggers, and they anticipate that that work will be going through the summer months. But again, it gets underway today. And that is your topics for today's uh, Litter Media Live. Sports is coming up next. A lot to tell you about, so stay with us. Want to say hey to our good sponsors, Accurate Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, your trusted comfort advisor, serving the Sayota Valley for 40 years. Accurate 
heating, cooling, and plumbing. Budweiser beer, the king is second to me. Who drinks Budweiser? You know the type. The people who grind. Those who don't back down. And the ones who don't quit. They say all people are six degrees of separation away from each other. But some are just a six pack away. The people who share the same spirit share the same beer. This buzz for you. This is Big Chilla Coffee. Horizon's 100% fiber internet service is coming to your area. Call 740-772-8331 or visit horizonconnects.com forward slash chilla coffee to sign up today. At Rathcamp Financial, we believe in building client relationships for the long term, guiding you through the stages of wealth with a plan and bringing you closer to reaching your financial dreams. We believe in long-term relationships and working to earn your continued trust with our customized investment solutions. For transportation options in Ross County, call Ross County Health District's Mobility Management Team, 740-779-9652. Turning over to sports, the OHSAA High School Baseball pairings announced yesterday in the Southeast District in Division II. Washington, Washington Courthouse, is the number one seed. Sheridan is uh, second seed. Uniota will be number three. Jackson fourth and Miami Trace fifth. Fairland is the top seed in Division Three. Portsmouth second seed, followed by Huntington at number three. Wheelersburg fourth and Valley fifth. Now in Division Four, White Oak is the top seed, followed by Leesburg, Fairfield, South Webster, St. Joe, and Notre Dame. In the Central District, Lancaster is a number eight seed and receives a first round bye. Taze Valley is 16th seed in Division One. Chillicothe, a 36th seed in D1, and they'll open up with uh, Groveport May 15th at home. Bloom Carroll in the Central District is the seventh seed in Division Two. Amanda Clear Creek is the 15th seed. In Division Three, of course, if you go to our website, story at littermedia.com, click on the links, you'll get the entire bracket for both the Southeast and Central District. Now, on Friday, high school softball, Adena in a matchup of the top two teams in the league. Adena won it 6-2 to two to win their first softball SVC championship since 2011. Now, high school tournament softball gets underway today around the area. Uh, as far as the Southeast District is concerned, you get D1 action with Chillicothe at Tri Valley, Marion Harding at Lancaster, and Reynoldsburg at Logan. That's out of the Central District, actually. Uh, D2, those are um, mostly Southeast District teams. Washington at Warren, Marietta at Waverly. Central District has Madison Plains at uh, Amanda Clear Creek. Division 4 in the Southeast District, Paint Valley hosting Scioteville, Western host South Gallia, and Green is at New Boston. Of course, all of that is weather permitting. And our score page, our scoreboard on the littermedia.com is active for the tournaments. So later tonight, get on there and you'll find out who is uh, doing what as far as the final scores. Uh, baseball championships also decided over the weekend. Uh, Unioto uh, Baseball won the outright SVC championship. Wheelersburg uh, won the SOC2. Bloom Carroll, a runaway winner for baseball in the Mid-State League in Washington more than a week ago, wrapped up the FAC championship. Uh, this was not pretty. <laughs> uh, the White Sox scored 11 times in the second inning en route to a 17-4 win over the Cincinnati Reds yesterday. Let's get off of that real quick. The news was much better for the Cleveland Guardians as they wrapped up their weekend series at home against the Minnesota Twins with a 2-1 to one victory. And that is a look at sports. When we come back, we'll take a look at this date in history, taking you back to 1541 on Litter Media Live. worth it if you enjoy it. Nickelode Ultra.
find a career you love with Pick Away Raw's adult education. Skilled trades careers are in high demand with no signs of slowing down. Pick Away Raw's offers career training programs with expert instructors and hands-on learning tactics to create a variety of opportunities. Visit our website for more information. When ensuring what's important to you, Andy Tomlinson and his associates are there when you need them the most. Tomlinson Insurance, for the best coverage at the best cost. Visit TomlinsonINS.com to learn more. All right, uh, let's come back up to the top and we look at uh, this date in history. And we're going to take you back to the year 1541 and take a look at this guy right here. Does that look familiar? Uh, actually, I wouldn't have known who it was unless I'd have read it. 1541, south of present-day Memphis, Tennessee, Spanish conquistador Hernando de Soto, better known as de Soto, reaches the Mississippi River, one of the first European explorers to ever do so. After building flatboats, de Soto and his 400 ragged troops crossed the Great River under the cover of night in order to avoid the armed Native Americans who patrolled the river daily in war canoes. From there, the conquistadors headed into present-day Arkansas, continuing their fruitless two-year-old search for gold and silver in the American wilderness. So, in an effort to find gold, they found nada <laughs> by DeSoto. This date in 15. 15- 41. That'll wrap up things uh, for our daily program today. Again, Dan Ramey is emceeing the uh, annual Pineapple Awards out at the Christopher Conference Center, put on by the Ross Chillicothe Convention and Visitors Bureau. I'm heading out there myself to, uh, uh, to do some videoing while Dan is doing the emceeing, and we'll have some of that uh, for you on tomorrow's program. And of course, uh, all of the winners of today's awards you can find later this afternoon on our website at littermedia.com. Until that time and until uh, our show at 11 tomorrow, this is Mike Smith for Dan Ramey and all of us at Litter Media Live saying have a great Monday, everyone. So long. <laughs>